out and friends, it's teacher Bernadette. I thought I would read you a story today. This story is called Swimmy and it's written by Leo Leone, one of my favorite authors. And Leo Leone also did the artwork for this book. Let's see here. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Do you see all the little red fish? And then there's the black one. That must be Swimmy. Did you know that a group of fish is called a school of fish? Just like us, we all go to the same school, right? One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting out of the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish, and only Swimmy escaped. There he is. Why do you think Swimmy escaped, friends? when all of his little red buddies got eaten up. Do you remember the story told us that Swimmy was the fastest swimmer? I bet you remembered that. He swam away in the deep wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. He's all alone, friends. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures. And he swam from marvel to marvel. And Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. So there's Swimmy. And he's looking at this beautiful sea creature. Do you know what that's called? Yeah, it's a jellyfish. And this one has beautiful rainbow colors. He saw a lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. He's walking on the bottom of the ocean floor. And he saw strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. The way they swam, it looked like this. He saw a forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. Were they really made of sugar candy? No, that's just what they looked like to Swimmy. Look at all those beautiful colors. He saw an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. His tail went all the way back there and there's Swimmy looking at his tail. And he saw sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Those are interesting creatures. He's learning about the world around him. Then, hidden in the dark side of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. Do you see all of them there? The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Do you see the little fish were scared to go out into the world? Swimmy wasn't really scared because he was so fast he could get away from them. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then he suddenly said, I have it. <gasps> we are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He wants to use teamwork to outsmart those other big bad fish. Let's see if it works. He taught them to swim close together. Each in his own place. It's starting to look like a big fish. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, 
he said, I'll be the eye. So there's Swimmy, the black eye of the big red fish. Do you think it'll work? Do you think they'll trick those other fish? And so they swim in the cool morning water and in the midday sun, and they chase the big fish away. His plan worked. They did teamwork. They all worked together. And now they could go outside and play. And that, my friends, is the end. I like this story because it reminds me of teamwork. And guess what? That's actually what we're doing right now. Everybody staying at home is like the whole world being one giant team to make sure not very many people get sick. That's what we're trying to do, to keep everyone safe. Now, one reason, other reason I like this story is because of the artwork. See all these little red fish? Do you think Leo Leone, do you think he uh, painted each one or drew each one? When I look at it closely, I think it looks like a print. And you could make a print at home. You could take a sponge, any sponge that you have, and cut it into the shape of a fish. And then you could dip it in some paint and press it on your paper, lift it up, press, lift up. And you could make a whole school of fish, just like this one here. And then guess what, friends, the scraps? You could use those too. You could use these scraps at first to make a big blue and green background to look like the ocean. And then you could use the big one for a uh, red paint, dip it in and press it on your paper. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story, friends. I liked reading it for you. Take care.